The, the thing that people always just underestimate about Kirby, they think, oh, he's just a baby. He's a fucking stupid idiot. No, you you don't that. understand. He's... He is a- he has toppled over galactic warlords because they fucking made him drop his kick. That is the being of power that you are- that you are- that you are talking about right now. It doesn't matter that he's too stupid to figure out how to spell the word sandwich. He can kill you in 27 different ways with his bare hands without even using a fucking copy ability just because you made him spill it. <laughs> Galactic War Lords, or Galactic Warlords didn't even notice they made Kirby drop the cake. Kirby, I'm about to end this man's whole career. <laughs> Kirby cocking a gun, some crimes are unforgivable. <laughs> it's just like it's just it's just like Kirby. I guess I'm explains why Kirby is the first like open character in Super Smash Bros. Kirby probably got bored and was like, I'm just gonna kill some people. <laughs> It's Kirby fucking... was the only one that survived fucking World of Light. <laughs> it's just like Kirby. It's like, it's like Kirby just looks at fucking Gleam and Darkon and it's just like, I'm about to end this man's hole. Not even career, just his hole. <laughs> just everything. Because literally, that is just. That's like. That's Tuesday for Kirby. <laughs> Literally, it's like it's fucking, the world of light was literally that's a fucking nice. just average day for Kirby. That's, that's, so, that's is somebody ad, four that's twenty in over there. In yeah. Yeah. Riley, what are Chris thank you for hosting? You do this so often, and it almost kills you every time. Um. Uh, oh no! Uh, I saw it coming too. Fuck. That time, that timing was perfect. It's, it sounded like Golden said, I don't know, really agitated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, back to the whole thing about Kirby, even just, even despite the whole backstory, just the game mechanics and everything, it's so fun, and it can be pretty challenging at times. Don't underestimate yeah, Kirby. People that say that Kirby games aren't challenging have never been through the true arena. Yeah, they just look at it and just think, Oh, this looks like a game for babies. It's like, uh, yeah, have you actually tried it? Have you baby. You can, you you can baby. talk shit about Kirby all you want once you beat the true arena. You Until know, then, shut the fuck up. Yeah, you know, know nothing about easily, me. easily one of my favorite games out of Kirby is still Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. You can combine so many different power-ups, including swords and double blades. Like, they're lightsabers. Yeah, great. Oh, yeah, I, no. I fucking love the crystal shards. I like Nightmare in Dreamland, honestly. On the Game Boy Advance? Too. Yeah. I haven't it's tried that one yet. First one. Ah, yeah. okay. Ah! But yeah, it's, st it's still pretty good. I enjoyed Nightmare in Dreamland. Nope. Yeah. I enjoyed all the Kirby. As a matter of fact, I don't think there was a Kirby game that I didn't like, even the fucking weird spin offs like Kirby's Air Ride. What's the other one Kirby's that's like. Ride. What's the one based on golf? Uh. Golf? I wouldn't be surprised, but I, I can't think of one if there was. Hmm. Ah, uh, see. Speaking of, like, Sakurai and shit, I, I can't help but just feel bad for Masahiro Sakurai. <laughs> Why? I don't know, it's just, like, you, you hear recently, like, what he was talking about he's, he's afraid to be seen, like, talking about any other games and shit, because he doesn't want to rile up the, the Smash fan base into thinking it's gonna be a new character or some shit. Jesus. Look, Did people are gonna get riled up no matter weapon. fucking what! Listen, yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying. Everybody you know would shut do. the fuck up if they added Gino. I'm just saying. Everybody <laughs> would shut the fuck up if Yeah, add Gino and, and Shantae. There we go. Well, we got There's one no... character left, so as soon I'm as that... I'm telling you, there yeah. is no fucking viable excuse to not have Gino in the game. Like, literally, it's a sin to not do it. You, uh. you have all the... We have Cloud and Sephiroth. How the fuck do we not have Gino yet? Just We've been be asking like for Gino for so goddamn long. Hmm. Caution alert. This could be like alert. the TF2 thing where everyone's like. This looks like Bioshock. Blue Pyro and Red Spy gonna be. <laughs> and he got so charged up about it. 
Ow! Oh. Oh. Jesus! It... Huh, wait. Why is... Why is Eggman, Dr. Octopus? Why is... Why is Eggman, Dr. Octopus and Electro at the same time? I don't Dr. know. Octopus, worse. Oh god, hands! Don't touch me! Dr. Egg. Oh Dr. god. Cyril. Oh no! Hey, oh, shit! Sterile. What the hell? This is a threat. I guess it just teleports you. Ah, Jesus! Teleport? Occasionally. Oh no, they won't take these hands. Hmm. Meow, 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 meow. Someone's saying meow? Uh, the I sound effects. Fish, oh, fuck liver. you, T. Meow, Fernandez! Meow, please deliver. <laughs> Ow, shit! Is, I want chicken, I want liver. No, I just, I just read what T. Fernandez said in the Twitch chat. You're a dick. Fuck you. Mm. <laughs> He's like, let's get Soren into Smash just to spite Brett. Because he knows very well I don't <laughs> like Kingdom Hearts. Dude, er fuck. earlier T. Fernandez said, Hey, Golden, what gaming channel do you see yourself as? And I'm like, he probably sees himself as the Golden Fox Streams gaming channel. Yeah, yeah no offense, dude. You kind of walked your walked uh, walked into that one. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, no. That is the YouTube channel where he posts all the streams, if he didn't already know. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, walking in, speaking of walking into shit, hey, Golden, can I ask you a favor? Yes. Please stop face-fucking the spikes. <laughs> it, it, easier said than done. Oh shit! I mean, how's he supposed to get his rocks off if he can't face fuck the spikes? Oh, there we go. Oh shit! Just because he's playing a blue character doesn't mean he should give himself blue balls. Come on, uh. not fair. I love how we've just gone from golden fox to golden rocks off. You said oh, you, you said face fucking first. I know. <laughs> I just I just really wanted to say golden rocks off. Rocks off. What Can we the get a fuck? Hashtag in the Twitch chat, please. Are you oh, serious? Got hit. It was hit, underneath hit. the uh, cup. Yeah, there was an enemy Sonic underneath the cup. Yeah. There we go. It was an overlap for a moment. Mm hmm. Alright. <laughs> We're starting to get Halloween gear out. And it's still yeah. a dog. It's August! Well, here's what, you, here's what you do. Here's what you do. You put out Halloween stuff in August. A month later, it's all boring. No one wants it anymore. It's dead, right? It's dead just in time for October. Now it's even spookier. Heck yeah. Ooh, Check. Checkmate. I mean, the only person who would be all down for this stuff would be Katie. Or... Midnight Sonata. Oh no! Same person. I mean, I like Halloween for the most part. I like. Yeah, so I like do I. Like Fuller in his marine uniform. I mean, I'm Halloween is just good for watching a shit ton of horror movies. I hey, love watching the. I love watching The Exorcist. He, oh, he showed up. He teleported five. in the room. Yeah. Oh. Am I the only one who doesn't like The Exorcist? What? Never okay. seen it. Don't care about it. It the problem uh, was is that it was just way too slow paced to finally see the actual. A, well, there, that's, there. it's a different era. It's it's paced. It has its. Yeah, it, like compared to today's pacing with our short attention spans. Yeah, I, I guess I could see why. Some ah, people damn it! To, I mean, it's, it's not so much slow. short attention span as like, I don't know if culture changed or people just realized. Oh right, quips and like quicker. Slightly quicker response, timing, everything. Hmm. Like, it's just more satisfying. I guess it's also because many it's people like... just expect for Reagan to just start spouting her her possessions shit. That's what I was That expecting. doesn't happen until, like, near yeah, the end of the movie. Very midway into the movie. No, you, 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 like, you build the connection with the character and what. And oh, what Will it... left well. Oh, I mean, okay. I think it's also because in Death the movie. One at a time, there's guys. There's more of a connection. Sorry. No, 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 go ahead, um, go ahead, Everyone yeah. Everyone I was just gonna say, I think it's also because the movie had more focus on the, on the mm -hmm. priest okay. character than Reagan, so I think that's why it also came off very slow-paced. Hmm, I guess, but... I don't know, I, mean, I, I enjoy what it shows, like, it, it's, like, all the, like, 
medical tests that Reagan goes through and all that shit. We, like, we see, like, they're trying to find an explanation for this shit, and they just can't come up with yeah. one. I mean, sure. And I'm not saying... And as far as pacing goes, like, there's, like, moves from an older generation that are also well-paced. Like, case in point, um... Hang on, what was it? Uh, The First Evil Dead, which, as corny as that movie is... Oh, I oh, love man. the Evil Dead series. Oh, I love all of them. I especially love the second one. That was just fucking bonkers. Evil Dead 2 is very enjoyable. Army of Darkness is, of course, just a meme machine. But It's, yeah. a, it's a huge meme machine. <laughs> this is my boomstick. Boomstick! Class <laughs> top of the line. No! Damn it! I really shouldn't watch Ew. that Ash vs. the Evil Dead series car. sometime. It was good. There was a very good reception for it. Yeah, I, I heard it got like, what, two or three seasons? I think like three seasons and many people were pissed off that uh, com that uh, Showtime canceled it. Uh, that kind of happens too. There, that always happens with good shows. There was an Exorcist TV series as well, and that got the boot during the time Disney took over Fox. Mm. Ew, boss that. Speaking of Fox properties and Halloween, uh, have y'all ever been to a, a fucking movie screening of Rocky Horror Picture Show? No, I still have I yet to see that. I did. No. I did see the um. The, the uh, that song, um, I'm just a sweet transvestite. Oh, um, transvestite. Transsexual. Transsexual. If you can, I highly recommend going to a, a like a midnight screening or just a film screening in general. Oh, uh, is that blast. like the best way? That's really the best way I've seen it. Oh yeah, because there's all these little customs and rituals when you're seeing the movie in theaters, so it's a treat to just see the how oh, the audience interacts with the film along with you. <laughs> I don't want to so spoil too much. So similar to how vision? people, so how people do it with um, the room. Basically, yeah. I still need to see the room. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Honestly, I found. <sighs> I found the room boring over almost the time. Like, oh hi, Mark. The fucking sex scenes just oh, went on forever. <laughs> They're not even like, real so sex boring. scenes. No, she's like he's just like humping her belly button or some shit. <laughs> I mean, you you didn't buy porn, so mm. it, yeah. if you yeah, want better they... sex scenes, get porn. I mean, to be, apparently, I mean, if you this want. This reminds me. It's, uh, this is this even fits because we're, we were talking about Halloween uh, earlier. But I remember fucking one Halloween, uh, I was with family and we decided, you know what, we're just gonna go out and fucking buy a whole bunch of really cheap horror movies and just fucking uh, like marathon them all. So we found this one disc that was like six horror movies in one. We weren't expecting anything good. Every single one of those was like cheaply disguised porn. Like. Bruh. Like, I understand fucking it's a horror movie, but like, there were so many just arbitrary sex scenes that didn't need to fucking be there, just shoved in. Like, I came here to get fucking scared, not horny. You, 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 I know. Two mixed signals, my guy. I no longer wish to be horny. I only wish to be terrified. I just wish to be happy. <laughs> I just wish to be happy. Exactly. I love that video, it's so fucking good. Uh, that's the fun part is when you just get a bunch of friends together and you and you guys just watch you some rip. bad horror. Yeah, you just watch some bad horror films. Like, I think my friends and I once watched this, like, what was it? Zombie day. Strippers or something? What the fuck? Oh, God. Yeah, and it had R nope. Robert fucking England in it for some reason. You had Zombie Krasnick. Yeah, Dude, uh, was okay. Okay. called Here, Zombie Here's strippers. a better question. Do you what think? Do you think any of them would match up to the like the garbage that is Birdemic? Is that it? Is that the end of? Hey, oh, cool. he's having a tantrum. Hey. What? When is not he though? Oh, oh hey, Knuckles. hi Knuckles. How long were you standing there? Oh Jesus! As long as we I wanted. Get, we didn't get to see small Knuckles. We didn't get to see Snuckles. 
You got them knuckles? Oh, we have an animated cutscene! Hey. Oh, shit, dude. <clears throat> oh, there. I remember oh, Sonic on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I remember how bad the proportions were in that series. God. Don't remind me. My nephews watched it all the time here. It, it's like, was there ever was there ever yeah. Wow, Lame that's it. Speech. Fuck. Was there ever a conclusion to Sonic Underground? Doesn't matter. I there think it was never was it a conclusion. Really? Yeah, it was canceled. Fuck okay, it, really? Sonic above yeah. ground. <laughs> Sonic never underground. Sonic under budget. <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah. the guy. Got I, mean, I enjoyed the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog as a kid, but I, I, even I couldn't get into Sonic Underground. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> my mom loved your mom. We were uh, Sonic fans, so she bought us like all, every Sonic game we asked for. And eventually, she just found Sonic Underground, and we're like another. I remember renting the Sonic uh, OVA from my local video store, like, Bro, the so Sonic many times. Sonic OVA was like fucking prime Sonic movie material, holy yeah. shit. It yeah. was so goddamn good. It, it was way better than it had any fucking right to be. I've been listen I listened to the, so the main song from that movie every so often. Um, what was it? Ah. <sighs> I forget the name of the song. What? Are you talking about the anime Sonic movie? The one with the yeah. Movie. The one with the garbage voice acting. I I wouldn't say it's garbage. Like it's it's as far as like like early mid nineties anime dubs, you could have done a lot worse, honestly. <sighs> All right. I'll give it that. I mean, also the entire Sonic the Hedgehog OVA is on on YouTube. Oh yeah, I know you can find it without a problem. Um, not to mention the way they handled like Eggman and the uh, the princess character. Instead of like just having like a typical damsel in distress, they're playing games together. Like one more round, I want to win. It's like, we've been doing this for the past fifteen times. God damn it! <laughs> I think that movie is more really hilarious. Good fucking music. It's it's yeah. It's the the movie is more hilarious and fun than what people give it credit for. I mean, yeah, there are some little moments back and forth Look that are life. inappropriate. Was... There's a scene where, like, Tails is, like, he's on, he's on the princess and, like, right on the boobs. And Knuckles is like, Tails, get off! I'm so sorry! I can't believe you would do that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's... Oh, please don't talk about Chris Thorndike. God damn it. No, he's the reason Your why mom. I... He's the reason why I didn't bother with Sonic X. He's oh, such a self-insert. Remember, everybody hates Chris. It's true. Except for T. Everybody Fernandez over Chris. there. Everybody hates Chris. I, was about I, know, I actually <laughs> did enjoy... For the most part, I enjoyed Sonic X. Just pretty much all the parts without Chris, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have to like, say, make no my... mistake. Make no mistake, there's some good action in Sonic X that, like, some thoroughly good action that I enjoyed, but just, mmm. Mmm. Mm. This <laughs> stupid child. I mean, the anime didn't really start to get good until the third season when the Meta X came into the picture, but. Is that the one where they were in space? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I remember that one. That was made as a huge deal because, um, the character Cosmic was making a sacrifice. Cosmo. Cosmo, yeah. Yeah, it Cosmo, yeah. It is so yeah. much better in Japanese. Oh I'm my god. Really god. The right original now, dub, watch the, the original. Uh, yeah. The original, the original sub, I guess. The original sub, like, is so much more, has so much more emotional impact yep. in this moment. Because yep. you get, like, the full context <laughs> and not the localized version, which is just like, oh, yeah. She's my friend, and she's uh, she's she's making the sacrifice. Like, not nah, original Japanese dub. Tails watched the love of his life get fucking disintegrated in front of his eyes. He was oh, yeah. distraught. Yep. That he entire was fucking arc. 
And they did it so well in the original. I hate what they did to it when it uh, when they dubbed it. I hated it. Okay, so yeah. I think I know what you guys are going to dive into. The whole thing with four kids. So, I'm not going to blame four kids for the changes and everything. They did it because the studio executives like Fox and such, they have such a stick up their ass over what's appropriate and whatnot. So, yeah, four no, kids I had no bad. It's the no, red tape. I don't tape. blame them. It's just, I understand why, because I, I grew up on Sonic X. That was my childhood show that I grew up on with my cousin. How oh, dare you understand. <laughs> yeah. And... <laughs> And I remember watching it the first time in dubbed, and it wasn't as impactful. And me and my cousin knew that it was there was another version of it, so we watched it. And we watched it the second time through. Both of us were sobbing. We were children, children, so we were both like sobbing, sobbing. So yeah, I don't mind the changes. You know it's serious when you get to ugly crying, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, but but still, like some things still don't make sense. Like, why would they like, like Photoshop over text on fucking billboards and shit? Like, <laughs> even if the text was in English, they would they would like edit it out and make just some like scriggly lines or shit. That's or another bit. thing. They uh, they're like editing a lot of older stuff, especially now. I've seen it. Uh, happen to a few TV shows and they're on Disney Plus now. If you go on and watch Lilo and Stitch in Disney Plus, the one scene where they, uh, where Lilo's running and she goes to hide in the washer, it's now Yeah, I heard pizza about box. that. Yep. Wait, what? And I'm like, that makes yep. no sense. That pizza box? Because yeah. apparently they didn't want to encourage kids to go into the dryer washed. and shit. I mean, I think that was encouraged that. It's so relatable. <laughs> Remember back in the days of Looney Tunes where people would get shot and blown up and fucking hit in the head with anvils and nobody was stupid enough to actually do Tom that? Tom and fucking Jerry, everybody. <laughs> I love, love Tom and Jerry. Isn't I there mean, like an iconic scene with Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny where Daffy gets shot in the mouth? He's fine, his beak's just on the other side of his head. Yeah, I actually, I remember yeah, one of the, um, there was one with... I, there was actually a death joke in one of the Looney Tunes shorts. Like it's been done in a, like everywhere else, but um, basically, um, they're pulling off a magic trick where they indulge a lot of flammable material, and then as soon as they eat the match, they blow up and people applaud. It's like they want to see more of that. Yeah, there's only one problem. I can only do it once. Oof. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, and no one was stupid enough to think that, you know, that shit was real, or try it for themselves, but no, nowadays it's just like, <laughs> Thank you the children! You know, it's kind of After funny, like... With Tide Pods, I understand, but it's still stupid that it happens. Oh, you know what? That's actually a convincing idea. I mean, I, a convincing reason, because the Tide Pod thing, I see that, I'm like, are people really eating laundry detergent? Like, oh god, dude, why? Literally yeah. eating poisonous soap. They know it's poisonous. So many of them know. They're like, yeah, a lot of other people got really sick. You know, I don't think I'm going to. I'm gonna do it for the cringe crowd. my face into a fist. I believe. term cringe. I I believe the only approach. Knock knock. Knuckles mode is now unlocked. I okay. Nice. I believe the only appropriate response to that is Darwinism. Sorry, the fuck yeah. up, please. Yeah, let, l let them. Weak genes out of the pool. It's like, I do not want to entertain this bullshit anymore, universe. Please, just just okay. take them. Take okay. them. Okay, I, I found Are you the, I not found entertained? Uh, I found I'm not. This, it's pathetic. I found the scene from Sonic X. Oh, God. No. Riley, are right, you posting so... more I guess it... What? Are you posting more cringe? I'm posting no. The, no, uh, he's he's sharing a scene from the anime. Are you anime. posting context? E. Okay, context is okay. All right, so everybody in the chat, have a good night. And um, yeah, this was a fairly short stream. I'll continue with uh, Mario RPG next week. So wash your hands. Yeah, wash your yeah. fucking hands and fucking get vaccinated.